Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to another live stream. We are playing Planet Zoo. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty, hi, Dr. Kevin, Dandelion, Van, Leon, welcome to the stream. Mother Earth, welcome. Yes, I am very well hydrated. Thank you so much. And I've grabbed that hydrate straight away. Okay, now, what we're going to do today is we're going to start a brand new zoo franchise in Planet Zoo. Uh, you guys had all kinds of comments about my zoo building abilities in the last one. But today, we will be doing it uh, right. Okay, so, we will be saying... Ah, Dr. Kevin, thank you so much. Congratulations, Checkpoint Dandelion, Swindon, and Van Upon Chaos Flow Man at, uh, are this week's winners in terms of activity on the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord already, do so now. It'll be linked in the description of the video or in the chat. Have a look. Okay, so what is our franchise going to be called? I think what we're going to do is this is going to be... Ooh, what's... Hang on, hang on. I am messing things up here. Okay, it is going to be conservation by chaos. Conservation. Oh, it can't fit. No. Put the zoo in Russia. Are we calling it Mama Earth Zootopia? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, so conservation by chaos isn't going to work. So what we will do, let's call it conserve by chaos. That's what we're going to do. And we will go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, should I have changed the... I think we can still change the logo. I've earned some conservation points. Wow, we start with a really li uh, limited number. Let's edit this quickly. I want to change the badge. Uh, we're going to go... I actually like the mask a little bit. So let's confirm the mask. Let's get the banner to do something slightly more yellow. Well, it's pretty yellow, but I do like this one. That's better. Let's do that. Conserve by chaos. We'll do that right there. Visiting status. I'm not sure what all of these things are, but anyway... We'll get going. We start with fairly little conservation points. So let's start a new zoo. Um, I would like... I would like... Uh, let's do a temperate biome. Mm, maybe not. Taiga. Tundra. Tropical. Tropical Africa? That might be cool. Tropical Africa? Snap to grid. What is snap to grid? I have no idea what that is. Grasslands. Grasslands are cool, but maybe tropical. I'm thinking tropical. So if you go, well, then it'll be Asia, right? Tropical Asia. Let's do tropical Asia and see how we go. Where do they want to place us? Somewhere, and I can't actually see where we're at. Is that like, uh, is that like Thailand there? Probably. Not too sure. I can't. I can't change the <laughs> change the direction of the viewing angle. Anyway, I think we're happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Hi from Thailand, Doctor Kevin. Will that build a zoo close to you so you can uh, visit us? Um, okay. So what's the zoo's name going to be? I'm I'm looking for some suggestions as to what we can call our zoo in Thailand. Anybody have some ideas for us? Okay. Okay, so let's call this one. Um, good evening from Malaysia. Welcome. Docs Zoo. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's... Why am I... I'm just constantly having some issues with, uh, with Steam. Docs. Why? Come on. Docs Zoo. Uh, and let's do uh, it correctly. There we go, Doc Zoo, and we'll start that one off. Okay, so we start with fairly little conservation points. 
We'll see what we can do. I'm, I'm confident we can get ourselves profitable pretty quickly, but can we get ourselves to a position where we can do um, some good work with, um, with conservation points? I want to get these conservation points up uh, pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Okay, so paths. First things first. Um, the th general theme for paths that we're going to use, they're all pretty much priced similarly, so it really doesn't matter. I do want us, I did, did like the ones that we used last time. These cobblestone rustic paths, block paths. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do the block paths. Let's do the block paths. Log round paths. Actually, that's quite cool too. Let's do that. Snap to grid. Yeah, snap to grid. Angle snap. Let's do a bit of an angle snap over there. Okay, and I would like to do it pretty wide. Um, so let's do that. Why is it... Um, okay. And we'll lengthen it out. Ah, okay. So that's a nice straight angle right off the bat there. Snap to grid. <laughs> Snap alongside barriers. <laughs> ban, ban. <laughs> oh, I like it. Okay, so let's do uh, two nice straight sections like that. I want us to start with like a, um, some stuff straight away. So if we go and we say, we'll align it to the grid over here, just because everybody is saying they really want us to align stuff to grids. So we'll do a little bit of this um, going off of here straight away, okay? So that's our basic starting point over here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to do like a nice central um, feature over here with, with a fancy animal. You can make path is squared off. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware. Um, but what I would like to do is I would actually like us to start off with some basic exhibits over here. So let's head, uh, ooh, and then in order for us to do that, we will need to provide some facilities. So I'll, I'll do some basic zoo facilities right over here. So let's start a path um, for our for our staff. Um, this one I would like to be nice and narrow. So if we say something like this, And then if we say um, align to grid, if I can find, ooh, that's uh, that's interesting. Well, uh, let's let's move the tree. I don't want to lose the tree. It's a pretty nice tree. So let's move the tree a little bit out of the way. And then I want us to run this little uh, staff path um, back. So let's align it to grid. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Align it to grid. Like so. Everybody happy with my straight paths? And what we'll do is we'll tie the uh, path in here. I believe it should be able to... Can we not tie this path in here? Okay, hang on. Let's uh, bring it out here. There we go, nice straight path right in there. Okay, as a starting point, what we need to do is we need to provide a few facilities. So I'll just run a few um, basic staff facilities up and around here. Straight lines, mm, perfect. Ah, <laughs> glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, they don't need to be huge. I uh, generally tend to build my stuff too big. So let's, uh, let's make sure we get an animal trading center. Um, right over there and a keeper's hut right over there and uh, what, what else do we need a research one there we go a staff room which we will turn in that direction there we go that's awesome and then we'll do a small quarantine and a vet surgery right over there how about that guys that's a pretty efficient layout over there and now we will do our very first um, exhibit straight as we walk in so it's not going to be a pretty uh, an impressive animal or something because to be honest we can't really afford it so let's head into the animal trading section and let's see what we can get
Seems like I've practiced. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, we don't want to do cash listings at the moment. What we want to do is we want to, no, 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 no. What we want to do is we want to look at conservation credits and no animals available. Hang on. Uh, let's just clear any filters that I could potentially have. And I want to make sure that we start, wow, a wild dog at eight. That is quite amazing. So some of the things that I'm thinking we should do, uh, ostriches, uh, actually the war dogs aren't too bad. They are pretty cheap. The Indian pea fowls are uh, pretty good as well. Albino war dogs, yep. So what we'll do, let's uh, let's see what else can we get in here for like 200. I want something that um, that we can get going pretty quickly. Fertility is pretty low here. Warthogs I think work really well and peafowls work very well too for us just to kind of constantly be putting things out all the time. We've got some zebras. Uh, I'm worried the area might not be big enough for like zebras and I would like to mix and match stuff a little bit. I think we'll just go with the common warthog. So we'll start off with some common warthogs. So let's find, um, no, 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 not common ostrich. Let's do common warthog over here. We'll filter by that and then we'll see what we can get over here. Uh, we've got a female here and pretty good female. Yeah, so I'll adopt that one. And I would like to adopt a gold male also. A gold class male. How old was she? Four years old. That's not too bad. Uh, let's find this guy. Yeah, that's awesome. Good. So we'll ad we've adopted two warthogs. So this is going to be a bit of a warthog exhibit or, or, or area. So if we started off, let's just grab, I like to go with the with the like wooden barriers at the back there. So I think if we do something like this, right in this location over here, and I will extend the length of this a little bit. So about 10 meters long is about a good one for us. Okay, but before we actually extend it, what I wanna do is let's terraform this thing a little bit. I, I would like us to uh, avoid using too many barriers. So if I go and say, the, use the stamp tool basically, and we make it nice and big. Oh no, the, the height doesn't have to be that, that much. If we go like something like this, right? And we say, you would like us to stamp mode down. I wanna do, I wanna do something like this. So if we do, oh no, that's too big, that's too much, that's too much. Uh, for some reason, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to work. Anyway, that, that's gonna be fine. Um, and now what we'll do is we'll slowly, actually, we'll probably have to stamp it down a little bit. So let's bring the width down quite a lot. And I'm interested in Stamp, no, 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 that, sorry, that's the, <laughs> that's the wrong thing. We don't want to do that. How am I gonna get rid of this? There we go. There we go. So let's stamp out this stuff over here. And I think that's gonna be about right. Nice, okay, so that's fine. And now what I'll do is I'll just smooth it a little bit. So if we go and Flatten to surface, hang on. Smoothen it out. Um, no, so flatten to surface, let's, let's just do a little bit of this. And we'll slowly start moving it down into this kind of area here. So we kind of keep it at the right level over there and then we'll smooth it. Yeah, something like that I think is gonna work just nicely and I can also use this area to give it a little bit of a a little bit of a cave for them to live in um, <clears throat> control Z is undo excellent good to see that okay so I'm gonna go in here and we will size this down a little bit and we will dig in um, onto this area. So if we go 
Yeah, that should be fairly intense enough. So if we do in this something like this right here, I want to create a bit of an underground cave situation here as a hard shelter. So these guys, instead of having a hard shelter that we build, we give them a hard shelter um, kind of in here. So that's the that's the general idea. So if we can kind of get in here a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're in there. So now I'll create a ooh, 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 try and I, I hope we can get back out of here. Yeah, we should be able to. So if we do something like this, something like that, the game is still paused, I think. Yeah, the game is still paused. So that should be a pretty sizable hard shelter right over there. Okay, and we are out. Uh, no, we're not. There we go. Now we're out. So that's a nice little hard shelter for our guys to go and live in. That should be cool. Alt F4 restarts the current project. Control Y redo. You guys, weird. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the bit of a starting point over there. If I can, if we can just smooth stuff out a little bit over here, that would be cool. I wouldn't mind um, just smoothing it out even more. Yeah, that's pretty good over there. Let's uh, let's try and dig that in a little bit more over here, and then we'll go around and smooth it. Yeah, nice stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I would like us to do a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a area here where we can put some water in. That would be um, would be quite good. So uh, let's do a little bit of this. There we go. That, that, that should be awesome. That will be going to be a nice little area. So now if we place a little bit of water kind of in here, I like I like the idea of some water over there. Uh, that's good. These guys will have nice water there. Um, as part of the water, we will need to provide some facilities over here. So let's grab the water facilities. We will go ahead and place that. I believe we should have power here, so we, we shouldn't be too bad with that. Anyway, so now water will be in place over here straight away. Um, let's go back and terrain smooth things just a tad more over here. So if we smooth that section, I just want to make sure that they can quite easily run up and down here. That's going to be cool. Okay, now let's do the barriers and then once we put the, the, the guys in here, we will see how we go from there. So now, I would like us to have our barriers run. I would like it to be pretty straight, to be honest. So if we do up to about, up to about, let's say seven meters. Yeah, seven meters is gonna be just fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the null gate thing and we'll do nice and long ones. And we'll just run the null gate um, or the null barrier thing over here. We're going to um, make it nice and short and we'll hmm, if we add an extra meter over there. It should be fine. Three meters. Perfect. And now we'll uh, run it nice and long again all the way up here. And a shorter one. Like eight meters, right? There we go. Eight meters up to there. And we'll go long again. Uh, actually, yeah, well, over here doesn't really make, uh, make that much of a difference. Now, from here, we will go and do the, uh, the, the wooden barricades again. Because they can actually get up here. So let's make it nice and short over here. And we'll uh, make it nice and long again. And if we tie it in straight over there, there we go. That's our very first piece. Uh, what I'll do is let's get the terrain tool over here and we'll just uh, kind of tie that down a little bit and put a bit of a put a bit of a rock or something in there so let's go nature 
get a rock. Uh, we're going to go with like an African Savannah, Savannah rock. Yeah, that's the kind of one that we want. Uh, we'll just, if we can just uh, kind of place it um, something like this so the guys can't actually get out of there. I believe that should do the trick and they won't, won't be able to get out over there. We'll have a very similar thing um, happening over here. So let's uh, move this thing uh, right like so. So that means they should be um, pretty well um, monitored over there. Angle snap. 500 constitutive streams, consecutive streams, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Already nicer as it looking zoo. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so let's bring in our animals and, oh, we need some staff. So before we do that, let's grab our staff. Uh, we're struggling with money straight away. So let's grab some staff. Ta -da -da. We need a caretaker. Plop, one caretaker. We need a keeper, one keeper. And we need a mechanic, one mechanic and a vet uh, straight away. There we go, vet galore. Okay, that should um, do the trick for us over here. So we'll um, unpause the game. These guys are working away. We will go into animal trading. We will find the guys that we have um, in storage over here, two of two. Nice, uh, good, good, good. We will move them into this specific habitat. Two mechanics, two vets. Yeah, yeah, maybe later. Smaller and smooth paths make it so much easier. Smaller habitats. Yeah, absolutely agreed. Uh, the female also needs to come in here. Come on. Click it. And we've got it going. Okay, so once they're in there, we will have a look at what the rest of the requirements for the animals are. And hopefully we can provide them with everything they need. Please make sure to deliver our animals. What are we missing? Uh, we need a workshop? We don't have a workshop? Oh, I didn't even consider a workshop. Let's find staff facilities. Uh, workshop, okay, well, that's fine. We should be able to quite easily um, add a bit of a workshop to the mix over here. There we go, now we've got a workshop also. Where are our animals? People are unhappy. Please add exteriors to the staff buildings. Yes, later, once we have money. Connect the path? What? Oh, <laughs> good. Thank you, good call, good call there. I'm glad you uh, suggested that. There we go. Path is now connected. So hopefully they, oh, there they go. Running straight away to go and deliver the animals. Excellent. Good, good call, good call. We will add in fancy exteriors later when we have money. At the moment, money is a big ticket problem for us. So we will slowly get it there. This exhibit will be um, way too big for these guys. So let's pause it for a second while we quickly check what they need. Um, they're quite happy with most things. Hard shelter they're happy with. Uh, I would however, uh, they want more short grass. So let's go ahead and go into nature. We would like ourselves, oh actually, under terrain, uh, we would paint um, short grass for us. So they want more short grass. The rest is kind of okay. So all we need to do is just make sure that we do lots and lots of short grass instead of the long grass. Then we'll try and add a little bit of the um, a little bit of the um, the trees and stuff that they would like. I'm going to go ahead and do short grass all the way around here, so we don't have too much long grass to deal with. We'll do a little bit more, um, and it slowly kind of moves in there. Okay, everything else seems to be pretty good. We'll have a little bit of rough rock um, in areas, a little bit of smooth rock and uh, maybe some sand in that in this corner over here that should be be pretty good now we just need to find out what kind of, um, of trees and coverage and things they like okay so they wouldn't mind a fair bit more coverage so let's find out they would like africa grassland and tropical plants i believe we're going to try and do so let's find out continent is going to be africa 
Uh, the biome is, let's go with grassland biome and we'll find, try and give them some of the trees and stuff that this biome um, would be known for. So if we go and try and do a few little things in that area, some reeds over there, we we'll probably need a little bit of reeds right over here, some rocks and things like that. Okay, so if we do a little bit of reeds like this, like that, that's going to be pretty cool right there. Nice. Okay, some other trees and things that they would like over here would be maybe something like this tree. Right over there. Wouldn't mind that too much. Um, some bushes and things. Like over there. A river. Okay, that's a little weird. Anyway. That's fine, one of those, one of those over there, nice, they like the plants, they still um, still need a little bit more coverage, so let's um, try and give them a little bit more coverage up here, that would be good, oh yes, and the big um, umbrella, yeah, that's going to be nice, that's about the right coverage for them, uh, actually, let's try and move these trees just a tad over, we don't want it to... We want it to be pretty bushy up here and a lot of um, shade for them. Okay, so they like that a fair bit. If we go back into nature, uh, the baobabs are huge trees. So I'm not going to do baobabs. Let's get some some of the kind of dandelions um, up here in one of the corners up to here. I do need to check the traversable area. Hide the buildings with trees. Yeah, yeah, well, the buildings are... Well, we'll definitely do some trees and stuff out there a little bit later as well. Um, let's try and get, like, one more fairly big tree, sizable tree down there. And that's going to be pretty good. Hopefully, everybody can see the animals most of the time. Um, it's going to be pretty good. So, if we go back over here and see what they like and don't like in terms of their environment, coverage is awesome. They love the trees. But they're having, um, they've got a pretty decent hard shelter and the terrain is awesome. Um, they generally like the mud and the stuff over there. So that's cool. There we go. Uh, one thing I want to check is the heat map. In terms of the habitat, what areas are traversable or they can not get out. So that is awesome. So we can now quite effectively start running our zoo without any big problems. Okay, there needs to be thousands of them. More dandelions. I uh, can't believe you got a shout out. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to provide people with all kinds of fancy stuff here, like um, educational displays and things like that. So what I would like us to do is if we, oops, that's not the one. Let's uh, do this. We'll add a little sign right over there suggesting that this exhibit here is for the common warthog. We will provide some educational speakers all the way along here. Okay, that's fine. That's about as much as we're going to do. So common warthog over there. We need to start doing some, uh, some research straight away and we'll get into that as we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving uh, the look of the exhibit. Oh, they're liking the, uh, the water over there. We obviously need to provide them some spots where they can get to their food. So let's go into habitat. Now, these guys over here, these are common warthogs. So let's see what else they need in their, um, in their area. Common, not common ostrich, common warthog. Oh, we do need to provide some... So let's get a large food trough right down there so they can have a look at that. They've got water over here, so I don't think we need to provide them with any fancier water than that. Uh, what we will do is give them some bedding down in the hard shelter over here. Ooh, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to work. Um, let's try and smooth this terrain out just a little bit. So if we go and... Um, ooh, that's not not quite what we were thinking of. So if I check the traversable terrain, um, 
for these guys, they can get into the hard shelter over there. So no problem. So we, we won't, uh, we'll leave that as is for the time being. Um, they are still happy with everything they've got. They don't have enrichment yet because we need to start of um, start researching it, I think. All of this is fine. Perfect. Okay. Now, we'll head into research straight away and see how we go. More trees for the visitors so they don't uh, need to stand in the sun. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good idea. Maybe a smaller barrier just so people don't fall down. That is also a good idea. We'll have a look and see what we can do. Um, obviously, our most favorite animal here is the common warthog. Let's quickly get some vet research going on for the common warthog. And we do need to do all kinds of other pieces of research also. Um, we can do research for the mechanics. Let's get some more staff facilities researched um, at this very same time. Okay, we need, what we also need to do is provide uh, a facility for guests to um, kind of give us um, some tips. <laughs> Because, uh, because our zoo works on the tipping system. You need to tip your zoo. Tip your zoo, guys. Tip your zoo. Okay, so these guys are um, loving their new habitat over there. So people uh, should love that too. We would provide more facilities. We need some benches. We need all kinds of things. Donation box from all, all directions. Absolutely. Just a silly question, why is its name common? Is there any other warthogs? I have no idea. But that reminds me, I would like to um, rename our habitat instead of habitat one to be called common warthog. I have no idea. I am from Africa, but I have no idea. Um, okay, we do need better feeders and stuff. So let's quickly go in here and see if we can provide them anything that is um, any form of enrichment, no. So we, we are um, researching the enrichment things straight away. So hopefully that will do the trick. So we'll start off on these very first pieces over here. We'll start off with some basic, um, some basic habitats over here, fairly square, fairly simple, just some few things that we can, can start off with over here. There's our first research coming in. That's excellent. So what do we get? Uh, food enrichment has come our way. So let's make sure we get the food enrichment down there straight away. And then once we, um, then, then once we, then we'll start going to the fancy exhibits and stuff as we go in there. Okay. Um, so FEMA, our common warthog is expect, um, is expecting some, um, some offspring. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Wow. It's, it's a quite a downpour. It's like we're in Asia or something. <laughs> So that's, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. The game's graphics is absolutely amazing. Okay, so one of the things that I would like us to do is, uh, and has been suggested in the comments, is let's go ahead and find some nice trees. So if we go and say, instead of Africa, and instead of grassland, well, actually, Africa grassland trees might not be a bad idea in this general area. Uh, because that's kind of what we have over here. But no, so instead of that, let's go with Asia and Tropical biome to be Tropical. And then what, what I'm interested in doing is placing some fairly large trees um, just um, on the side of the path here. So if I do something like that, hopefully that provides enough shade for our people that's kind of currently walking in this direction. So I would like to do a few um, trees, not, not all kinds of weird trees, but I do like to provide like a few trees in this area. And let's uh, kind of maneuver this one around this way a little bit. And so we'll have a little bit of trees in this area. So there's a few spots where, where our, uh, our guests can, prov can get into the shade. We would also like to provide them with some more facilities something like um, seating benches, those kind of things. Um, and I'm not, I don't mind having benches in. So if we do, yeah, maybe on the sides because we'll have them on both sides. So let's do benches here and there on both sides. So a couple of benches. Okay, what I also want to do is check out what are we charging people to come into the zoo at the moment. I believe we can immediately go up to like six and three at least. I think that should be okay. 
We've uh, done some more research over here, so let's have a quick look. Excellent. The idea is that we get all of the common warthog research done as quickly as we can. Um, I would like us to start getting a little bit of a profit. It seems like we are turning a profit straight away. Also, love how trees have roots in the models. Yeah, they're very good. With a big rain, you need a better drainage to prevent floods. Yeah, luckily our uh, our enclosures, well, actually, for that little area out there for the guys, um, they might be a, a little bit... What is going on over here? That is just weird. How I, I thought this was supposed to be like a hard shelter. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's quickly fix that because I'm not a fan of what is going on over there. Um, so if we say, um, oh, we need to grab this thing, flatten to foundation. So if we click there, there we go. That's the plan right over there. Let's just make sure to make that short grass instead of long grass. They should be happier with the short grass and even down there. Perfect, so these guys should be having a ball. How, how happy are these guys? They've got the, uh, the enrichment needs to go up a little bit more. So let's see if we can provide them with a little bit better um, enrichment in their habitat. Um, so there's like a herb scent marker that I think we can maybe place down there. Um, any toys? Yeah, that's about it for the time being. But I do like our habitat is looking pretty good. Pretty good little habitat over here. Nice trees, um, nice, 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 all around nice. Okay, now we'll move on to the next thing. Lots of sun. <laughs> uh, do, 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 um, in the sun sounds like a bad idea. Okay, now what is the next animal that we're gonna get into? I do want us to maybe put in another exhibit right over here. Ooh, is about to have some offspring. That is awesome. Wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind us filling this exhibit with a lot of little animals. Uh, let's quickly have a look just at our sizing. In terms of size, we've got way, way more space, which is okay. I don't mind that being as big as it is at the moment because I believe we would like a lot of um, a lot of little uh, little babies in here, and these guys do um, reproduce quite quickly. So if we see, we've got new little little babies. So let's quickly see. They are also gold rated, and they've got a pretty high appeal because they're babies. They're babies, just in general. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, perfect. Now, if we see their genetics, they are pretty pristine specimens. So that's awesome. That is going to be just awesome. Now, what is the next animals that we're going to have a look at? Need to get safety fencing. Okay, let's have a look to see if there's any safety fencing that we can provide over here. So if we go into the construction piece and we look at architectural awnings walls, Here we go, wooden plank, wooden plank fences and things like that. Structural props. Yeah, so you can get really into so much detail over here. So if we go and see, have a look at barriers, right? I don't want to do these barriers because they're a little too extreme. If we just go that and that. Yeah, so safety fences would be a thing. You know what we can do, guys? You know what we can do? is we can just upgrade the paths. So these are the log paths. And what we can do is we can just say, um, railing on ground paths over here. So if we do that, safety fence is up, guys, safety fence is up. Now we know guys won't be falling into that. I like that. That is a good way of doing it. Really good way of doing it. We can obviously make uh, better, better areas over here. Okay, back to animal trading. You can lower them. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, next animal. We want something else. Um, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm only doing warthogs at the moment. So let's uh, just do any species. 
Let's see what else we can afford. Obviously, we can afford the pea fowls. Is there anything with a slightly higher appeal? The sables have got a pretty decent appeal. <laughs> and if someone falls, that's just natural selection. <laughs> I like it. Uh, the plain zebra is not too bad. And I think, you know what? We could actually provide the plain zebra in here also, I think. Let's have a quick look. Um, if we go into this animal's uh, Zoopedia. Okay, so now they don't need a lot of space. Um, this is the kind of right area. They uh, have babies quite a lot. We are currently doing uh, a lot of research on them. And they are quite happy to share their environment both with the sable antelope, the Thompson's gazelle and the plains zebra. Hmm. Shall we, shall we get the Thompson's gazelle or the plain zebra in here and just use the same, the same area? I think that will be quite useful. So let's quickly grab that and say animal trading. If we go plains zebra as a starting point, maybe the Thompson's gazelle would be better in, in this area. But if we go and say plains zebra, what can we get? Oh, I didn't filter, please. We can get, why is there so many albino versions? Whoa, the plain zebras are pricey and this one is probably low fertility. Okay, so we're not going to do plain zebra then. Let's go with Thompson's gazelle instead and filter it that way and see what we can get. Only, what? That's crazy. I swear it was easier later, um, last time. So what is the other one? The sable, the sable antelope. Let's check that one out and see if we can pick up a couple of those. Only females and they are not great. I think your zoo needs some lights. You, your prices might be a bit steep for one animal. Well, we'll get there. Don't worry about it. We'll get there. Calm down. Okay, so the sable antelope isn't working out for us. Thompson's gazelle isn't working out for us. Well, what we can, however, do is we can get one of these and pay for another. So what can we get over here? I want one with a, at least a decent fertility gene. So this one over here, longevity gene isn't great. That one's pretty good all around, but this fertility gene is all right. So if we go with a sable antelope over there at like 40, but that seems seems steep, really. Many, many guests think our prices are we're overpriced. Calm down guys. Wow, it's just constantly raining. No wonder people think the prices are steep. It's raining all the time. Um, let me put some rocks down here. Okay, hang on. Go back into Zoopedia. Just see what else is in there. We need lights. I agree, we need lights. What other animals can we get? Ostriches, black wildebeests, their spring box. Giraffes. No, it's not gonna work for giraffes over here. Sable antelopes. Um, or Thompson's gazelles. Really, they're the only ones that, that I feel fit with this. Maybe Springbok. Let's see if we can find Springbok at a decent, at a decent price. Habitat has damage barriers. Ooh, that's not good. Can we, uh, can we call someone? Oh, here we go. 250 for a sable antelope. It's crazy. Let's go back with Thompson's gazelle. Thompson's gazelles feels like they will fit really nicely with this. Wow, it is extremely expensive, these gazelles. I don't know what's going on. I do not know what is going on. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, let's just find, get a mechanic to come out of here. Okay, then the mechanic comes to try and fix these things. Yes, my mechanic is doing research. That is part of our problem. Inspector has left. What is our report saying? Oh, our cleanliness is awesome. Our education is not great. Um, and we're getting a four star rating for our common warthog exhibit over here, which is, I, I, I think it's fair enough. Fair enough. It's our first exhibit, so it's okay. The other thing that we could get on this side, potentially, if we, we're still waiting on 
pieces to, to add to this one is we could get some pea fowls over here. The pea fowls uh, reproduce really quickly. We don't need a massive area for them. We can do a very small little exhibit over here. Um, need more educational boards? Yes, we obviously do. We also need to do more research so that those educational boards in, um, contain a little bit better educational information. But what we can do is we're going to at least add another little board over here. So if we go with one of, say, these guys, and we just turn it out a little bit like this, we'll plop it in there. And this board can um, say a little bit something about traditional medicine, population fragmentation, poaching and exotic pet trade, something like that. So there's at least a little bit more information available in the general area over here. But all in all, looking, looking pretty good. These guys should be pretty happy um, growing um, nicely. Okay, what are we saying over here? Many things, uh, many guests think things are overpriced. That is fine. I don't mind them thinking that too much because it, we will sort them out fairly quickly. Vet research is getting done. Whoa, we are done with the common warthog. Excellent, so we've got everything we need. So let's make sure we quickly give them everything they need over here. So if we go to habitat, and just have a look at toy enrichment. There's a fruit spike tree. Really? That's for the common warthog? Okay, let's place it under the tree over there. That's good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get a little bit of a wind chime going on down here. We'll get a mud bath right here next to the... Ooh, and let's uh, try and move that little piece of thing there. Not right here next to the water. A little bit of a mud bath. That's good. Um, they wouldn't mind a little bit of a sprinkler up here somewhere. Let's do that, a sprinkler over there so they can have fun in the sprinkler. And what is this? A forage box in the Richmond and a mud bath. So let's uh, put a forage box in the Richmond. Maybe where? Under the trees over here? Yeah, that's okay. I think that's okay. That will be fine. Anything else? A bit of a rubbing pillar. Uh, maybe down here in the corner. Really? We can't place it any, anywhere. Okay, there we go. There's a bit of that going on. Nice. So now we've got some toys and all kinds of things. So these guys should now be pretty happy that they've got all of that that they need. Um, their enrichment. Interspecies bonus they don't have. So that is what I'm trying to work on is getting that interspecies bonus going on. So if we go back into the animal trading piece, throw it over the fence. Why is there a bin after the fence? A bin after the, f oh, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you can still throw some stuff in there. Really, we don't have better gazelles than this. Okay, so the other option is, if we stop that, let's have a look at the uh, spring box and see if we can find proper spring box instead. Ooh, they are pretty pricey though. I don't think we can afford them. But if we can afford one of them, and we'll get a female that is paid for. That should be okay. Will that kind of work? Shall we adopt one? Yeah, let's adopt one springbok over here. So we'll adopt that male. He's pretty good. And then if we go to animal trading, and now I'm looking for springboks, but let's find a female springbok that we can pay for. I believe that'll work. No, 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 come on. Filter. Cash listings for springboks. A female springbok, please. Filter for females. Yeah, that, that we can do. How's this? How's that? Any decent genes over here? That's not bad. Uh, we can get these two. So let's adopt that one. And we'll adopt this one. And we'll add spring box to the mix over here. So what I'll do is I'll provide an added hard shelter at the top over here. So let's get a hard shelter going on. Something, something like this. If we say hard shelter like that, I believe that should be sufficient. Now if we provide um, some bedding in there. Okay, like so, and we'll put our spring box in there, and I believe that habitat should then work quite nicely. So let's bring in those animals, these spring box that we've got. So this guy, 
hopefully the offspring will will be able to generate us um, will be able to generate us conservation points for us for our ostriches I think it's a little small for ostriches use cash not leave things yeah well that's what we're trying to do so let's uh, get a little bit of cash going on well get these guys in here I think the spring box are about the right size it'll work quite nicely for us get the other one in here as well and because we've got one with conservation points um, I believe their offspring will be able to get for for conservation come on and in there excellent I believe everybody should now be happy so let's have a quick look over here at our new spring box they are pretty happy with everything they've got a 20% interspecies bonus they're happy with our shelters and everything the entire habitat and um, they're quite comfortable with so really our spring box and our warthogs are quite nice friends over here so what we do need to however provide is an additional educational sign somewhere over here to say that we also have spring box in here and I'll put it right over here um, so it's facilities it is a little bit of this going on let's move that around a little bit and if we hit that button and we'll just say well we want spring box in there also now what we'll do is I'll just grab like one of these speakers and change it from the common warthog to the spring walk and hopefully that will do the trick excellent so the warthogs I believe will live down there the spring walks will live up here and everybody will be quite happy and nice change one of the excellent I did I did now hopefully we will be able to uh, to get these guys growing and going along nicely so what I'll do is I'll go to zoo we'll go to the research piece and we'll get our vet to start researching spring box so we get all the various items for them over there the mechanic has finished researching something more for staff facilities we are making money so I do like the idea of that we are in fact making money so that's quite cool I just wanted to double check um, if we uh, in terms of the habitat traversable area yeah the spring box can't get out either which is great it's exactly what I was was hoping spring box can actually jump quite a lot Ooh, running in there nice anything stickers are overpriced zoo has no security okay we'll definitely need to get a security guard we have uh, forgotten on getting the security guard e earlier so let's get a security guard for the zoo thank you very much everybody now I think over here I will grab a small um, I will grab a small little area for like pea fowls Indian pea fowls I think that's a, a good one uh, we get a lot of conservation points from using um, pea fowls also so let's grab baths we'll go ahead and get a staff bath this one um, nice and small the narrow one is going to be just fine and for the staff baths I don't necessarily want us to have the railing I think the staff is okay um, without the railing mm, I'm quite happy to to have this not straight so if we do that as a starting point okay the idea is over here that we will start a new a new habitat barriers everything please Staff is okay to die, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I would us, however, like us to do. Yeah, so they really do want us to do something like this. So if we do. Okay, before I go in there, let's quickly go here and we'll go with the Indian pea fowls. I just want to see because we can pick them up pretty easily doesn't benefit from sharing space with others that's fine um, do, do, do. they don't need a very big area grade one fence is fine four feet can I hang on the quick question before we go over there can we go into settings and just get our interface to go into meters some kind of yes here we go speed units come on speed units need to be kilometers per hour we are saying meters right so why are you giving me other celsius is fine ok 
Okay, apply. Get that done. So if we go back to the Zoopedia, it's still saying four feet or something. Boundary requirement four feet. It's a pretty low barrier, I think. Grade one. They're quick. They don't benefit from anything over here. And I don't know anything over there. That's fine. Okay, so we need a small little area over here. I think we'll just do a kind of a glass. You know what I'll do? I will actually just lower the terrain just a tad over here also. So if we go with this and we'll just say, well, let's uh, make it a little wider. And what I'll do is I'm just going to, ooh, that's maybe a little, a little too much. So let's do that. Then we'll say um, to that area. Okay. And if we do a little something like this, I believe that should be okay with the P fouls over there. Um, this side actually can be smoothed a little bit. I do want them to be just a little bit lower than everything else, just so that it's... Um, just so that it's easy to see them. That's that's predominantly the thing. It's too hot, 42 degrees for peacocks, max 40 degrees. Ooh, that's an interesting one. So we might have to provide a little bit of cooling in there for them. That's going to be okay. I don't mind that too much. Uh, okay, so let's try and start the habitat over here. We would like a barrier system. We would like uh, this kind of wooden barrier over here. All right, over there, something like that's going to be just fine. Um, on this side, I'm going to go ahead and provide us with this hedge. Let's uh, make it a fair bit shorter. Go up like uh, eight meters or something like that. Okay, let's uh, twist it around here a little bit. Up here as best we can. Nice, and so we'll go up to here. And then I think we'll just go with glass. And if we add it around here and around there, ooh, that's not quite gonna work. Let's uh, go back one, up here, up there, up there, and if we, can we tie it in? There we go. Tie it in like so, that should be pretty good. That's a pretty, I think a pretty decent little pin for these guys. Yeah, that'll be a, a good one. Hydrate, thank you so much. You can curve, yeah, I curved it. Okay, excellent. Okay, so what we'll do is get, get some P fouls in there. So let's uh, quickly get some P fouls. Do, 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 do. Um, let's uh, not do any filters. So let's just reset any any filters. Mm, excuse me. Want to do cash conservation or uh, conservation credits? Mm, excuse me again. And in our species over here, we would like the Indian peafowl because they're pretty pretty cheap and they uh, they reproduce like crazy. Um, in my little practice game over the weekend, I was just like flabbergasted by how quickly these guys reproduce. So that's like a, a gold standard over there. Our old, yeah, that's excellent. We'll grab that one as the female. Can we get a gold? A gold male over here. This one, ooh, fertility gene is pretty low. Let's move on. I want another male. That's that one. Oh, excellent. Adopt. There we go. Two gold standard Indian peafowls over here that we will move into this spot straight away. Animals in our storage. Thank you. Bring them on over. Thank you, deliver over there. And we'll grab this one. Come on, and in here. 